Welcome back to another Site Tech Intermountain Earthworks training video. In this video, I want to cover what a VCL file looks like after it has been generated in Trimble Business Center and exported to the machine. So in my job setup here, I've got my project, from uh, Site Tech Wheeler training site, design, and down here you can see that if I stay on a design that's just a finished grade that's not a VCL, or down here where I've got 3D line work, I don't have any other options in here, but if I change to the VCL file, now it comes with different options down here. Because the VCL file came out with three different surfaces in there, I can go ahead now on that same design and click in here and go between an existing condition topo that we took of this project out here. I can go between a finished grade design and 3D lines right all on the same one right there. We'll leave it on finished grade design. I don't need a master alignment right now. We'll hit apply. When this file comes up, you're going to see a lot of different information right on the main screen right off the bat. All these different points right here and yellow lines were exported in that VCL file as the original ground topo that was brought in or taken out here. So all those little points everywhere. Um, we've got extra line work everywhere. If you zoom in on the main road right here, you can see that we've got Topo lines, we've got utility lines, water lines, sewer lines, there's gas lines in certain areas. There's a lot going on on the screen. I even have existing utilities on here, which is this big red line across here. What we can do with a VCL file inside here is clean up what we see, just like you would in Trimble Business Center by clicking and turning on and off layers. So the way you do that is the shovel with the gear, down at the very bottom or close to the bottom of this, there's Layers Manager. In Layers Manager, you can see here all the different layers that were exported out with this file. So we'll zoom in just a little bit to show you what it would start doing if we cleaned it up. So if I want to get rid of all those yellow lines, those existing topo lines, we're going to go down here to X Topo 7522, and we're going to turn that off to where I don't see it. I can also turn off utilities if I don't want to see those right now. I could turn off storm drain, I could turn off sewer, gas, and water to clean up the main screen here. I can even get rid of points that were recorded with either the machines or brought in um, through a data collector or other means, and I can turn that off right here. The only thing I have still on is existing fence around the outside, my design, the striping lines I can even turn on and off and existing utilities. Those utilities are the red and gas, the power and gas and running through those areas right there. If I want to turn those off, I can turn those off. I'm gonna turn those back on. The only inherent problem with this is that when they're turned off, they're what I call out of sight, out of mind. So there's layers that are turned off, there's a chance that something might be hit or, or, or missed because it's turned off but it sure cleaned up the screen quite a bit by simply going, one more time, shoveling the gear down to Layers Manager and turning on and off what I do and don't want to see. What it does help out with with utilities is let's say that I do want to just know where the sewer line is. I can just turn the sewer line back on and have a reference as to where those are at. So this was a training video from Site Tech Inner Mountain on VCL files and turning on and off layers inside the machine.